Okay, so hi there folks, so we're now in our next video in number theory and in this video we're going to state and proof, give the give the proof or prove um, theorem 3.6. This is right after our topic in linear congruences. Okay, so theorem 3.6 again states that the linear congruence AX is congruent to B mod N has a solution if and only if D divides B, okay, where D is the GCD of A and N. If D divides B, then it has D mutually incongruent solutions modulo N. Okay, so let's give a proof of this okay, for this theorem. So let's start. Proof. Um, now, we already have observed that the given congruence is equivalent to the LDE equation. So um, the given congruence is equivalent to, um, I mean this congruence um, here above this one. Oh, no, this one I mean, okay. Uh, we have stated that um, in the previous video that it is equivalent to the LDE, the linear Diophantine equation, the LDE Um, AX minus NY oops, NY equals B. So our congruence, linear linear congruence is, is equivalent to the linear Diophantine equations AX minus NY equals B. So um, from one theorem oops, sorry um, by Aryabhata. Um, this you can see your your the previous videos um, about this about the linear different equations. We have talked about this theory by Aryabhata. Um, if you have the if you have the the module, it's on page eleven. So it is known. that the last equation, the latter equation, this one, ax minus ny equals b, can be solved if and only if um, d divides b. So, so we know that by that theorem. So moreover, it is solvable. It is solvable by x sub zero, y sub zero um, is one specific solution. solution then any other solution has the form then we say that any other solution has the form um, x equals by the theorem x equals x sub 0 plus n over d times t and y equals y sub zero plus a over d times t for some t okay for some choice of t for some t okay so among the many var various integers satisfying that these equations um, this one and this one. Okay, among the various um, integers, uh, consider those that occur when t takes on successive values of t equals zero up until d minus one. So since if we're going to arrive at d, we're going to have this this t here. So consider we will consider
consider t equals 0, 1, 2, uh, 3, up until d minus 1. So what we'll have is x equal x sub 0 for d equals 0. So this substitute 0 for the t here. So this will be 0. So what we'll have is zero, x sub 0. If about x sub 1, if about if t is equal to 1. Is if t is equal to 1, so this will be 1 times any number here, n over d, so that will give us x sub 0 plus n over d. Okay, if t is 2, then, so this this is going to become 2, therefore we have 2n over, over d. So what we have is x sub 0 plus 2n over d. And this goes on until we'll reach... Um, d minus 1. So d minus 1 times n is going to give us d minus 1 times n all over d. Okay, now we claim that these integers are incongruent modulo n. So we want to claim that, that they are incongruent to modulo n. And all other such integers x are congruent to, are congruent to sum of one of them. Sum of one of them. Okay, sum, S-O-M-E. Okay, um, it, if, it, if it happened that uh if if it happened so let's write this first um all other such integers or let's just write what we have said okay so that the proof will be will be complete we claim that these integers are incongruent modulo n and all other and all other such integers x are congruent to some to some S O M E one of them. Now if it happened if it happened that let's give an equation. Um, x sub 0 plus n over d by some t sub 1 is congruent to x sub 0 plus n over d by some t sub 2, or rather t sub 1 by some t sub 2, still in mod n. Uh, where this this two t's are strictly greater than not really um, greater than or equal to uh, zero t sub one um, p sub two uh, t sub rather this is t sub one uh, t sub one is strictly less than t sub two and t sub two may be less than or equal to d sub one d minus one rather. Then we could have after this, then we could say that um, n over d t sub 1 is congruent to n over d t sub 2 mod n. Okay, so we're, we got, sorry, we got rid of the x sub zeros. From both of them okay so we since we got rid of it so we have n over d t sub 1 is going to go into n over d t sub 2 mod n now we consider the gcd oops now the gcd of n over d and n is just equal to n over d of course and therefore, by theorem 
3.5, which we have discussed in the in a previous video. The factor n over d could be could be cancelled out. Uh, specifically, the title of the video is the cancellation of of congruences or arithmetic in arithmetic congruences can be cancelled to arrive at at this congruence at the congruence which will be stated after. Okay, so we have here again. So the factor n over d can be cancelled. Um, again, this can be cancelled here, which we will it will arrive it will give us the the congruence t sub one is congruent to t sub two mod n. Um let's put give the space here since we have no more space. Okay. So therefore we can say that um t sub one is congruent to t sub two mod mod d this time, not n. Mod d. Okay, which is to say, which is to say, oops, to say that um, D divides T sub 2, oops, sorry, T sub 2 minus T sub 1, this is by, the, by definition, but it is impossible, but, uh, but this, again, is impossible. Um, in, in view of the inequality of what we have established in, in, inequality. Um, zero is less than T sub two minus t sub 1 is just less than t so that can that 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 uh it cannot be true okay it remains to argue then so since this is not true um that part of the theorem is somehow somehow correct now it remains to argue now the last part of the proof now tells us that um we remain to argue that any other okay it remains to argue that any other solution uh, x sub zero in this form n over d n over d times t is incongruent Modulo n to one of the to one of the d integers to one of the d integers, which is listed above. So by the division algorithm. The division algorithm um, it permits us to write t as in we can write t equals um, q d plus r so that's by the division algorithm of course where r is uh, greater than or equal to zero and r can be greater than or equal to d minus one so hence Um, we say x sub 0 plus n over d t is equal to x sub 0, okay, substituting so the value of r, which is q d plus r, so plus n over d times q d plus r, 
So by substitution, what we have is going to have, we're going to have uh, x sub 0 still plus n q d over d plus n d n times r over d. So we cancel what we can cancel. So cancel the d's here. So this will lead us to have x sub 0 plus um, no more denominator n q plus n r over d. Okay, and then we write then as the last part, uh, which is equivalent to, this is said to be equivalent to, or congruent to, x sub 0 plus n over d times r mod n. Okay, with, um, we say now with, Um, there's no more space down below. Um, can we transfer this? Okay, uh, I'll transfer this um, above. Okay, so let's just copy this in a while. Let's copy this. Um, oops. Just a moment. Okay, let's copy that one. Oh my god. Sorry. Uh, too many things to be, to be clicked. Uh, it's messing this up. Just a moment. Okay, so let's copy this above over here since we don't have any space oh my goodness this proof is quite long as you can see we need more space here okay here here's a top already um, here it is Okay, there so we continue here uh, sorry for that inconvenience so we continue um here now um with x sub zero let's define uh, with x sub zero plus n over d times r being one of our D select resolutions. Okay. And then, yeah, that's it. That's the end of the proof. Actually, that's the very last part of the proof that we need to save uh, or we need to transfer. So, um, this just remains to see that the theorem 3.6 is proven. Um, that the linear congruence AX is congruent to B mod N. It has a solution. If and only if D, their GCD of A and the modulo N is divisible or divides the B, the left, the right hand side of the congruence. And that D, if D divides B, then it has D mutually incongruent solutions, modulo N. So um, that's it. That's theorem six. Um, quite a long proof, but yeah, that's, that's the entirety of the proof, it tells us. Okay, so thank you very much um, for watching. I forgot we'll put the end of proof over here. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, okay? So thank you very much for watching and hope to see you soon. Okay, thank you.